Hi, good morning everyone. We are here with Sandy and uh, this is weird. Um, we are here to do a 30 day manicure on her. I haven't seen you guys in a while, so um, did you miss me? We are going to pull up Facebook for her to, uh, oh, there's the back button, okay. Uh, we're going to pull up Facebook, and that way if you guys have any questions, let me know, and Sandy will spout them out to me as she sees them, and I'll answer them. So, I'm going to do her 30-day manicure here. I'm going to use, um, oh, that's options, clear. That's the wrong one. Uh, OptiBond. That's the one I'm going for. So, I'm going to use options OptiBond. Um, that's my base coat that I typically use. So her nails are prepped. Uh, she had, she were, this is, uh, she had, a, I don't know, a month or so. There's a little crack here. That's going to be fine. What I typically do is just make sure, um, I get some gel into that crack, uh, with the OptiBond, I suppose. This is Sandy's first time on my Facebook Live. So everyone welcome Sandy to the world of Just TV. Alright, okay, back at it. So, I am just getting my OptiBond on the nail. You don't have to do a lot of like scrubbing, 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 spending all kinds of time. If you push your brush up and down, it's going to get into the nail. So, don't spend a lot of time on this step. But, you want to make sure you get it in there good. It doesn't need to be glossy. You should still see texture on the nail. So if anyone says anything. Hi Karen, good morning. All right. Now I hit the skin a little bit right here, so I'm just going to use my stick just to make sure that that's off. All right, in the light please. Sandy is a really good example of those clients that are just awesome with their nails. She doesn't really have a lot of lifting or anything like that. Um, and the shape of her nails, for some reason, they're just nice and fabulous to do. You all have those clients that just seem to not be a lot of work. You're one of those fabulous clients. Well, I mean, she knows she's fabulous. Right. She has the cutest puppies. They're not here today, but sometimes she brings her puppies in like a little stroller. They're in the car. They're in the car. All right, so OptiBond on the nail. You can see the texture. You don't need it to be glossy or anything. Just go ahead and put that in. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Stacy. Top of the morning to you. Yes, St. Patrick's Day nails today. All right, so I'm going to use my Trusty Old Natural Pink. This is my go-to for most of my clients. It's our old UV formula. Um, as you can see the pot's getting lower and lower. Um, I need to order more today. All right, so I'm gonna grab a bit out of the pot. That's about as much as I put for a pinky. I'm gonna roll it off. And I like to work with the gel in front of my brush so I can see where it's going. And I don't wanna get it on the cuticle, around the cuticle, and then just brush down. So this little pinky nail that had the crack, I'm gonna really Focus on making sure I've got gel covering that because I don't want to split um, off the end. So I'm going to play with this one a little bit just to make sure we're covering that little crack. Okay, move that back so we don't keep pulling you. There you go. All right, next grab, roll off, push gel in front around the cuticle and then just kind of do a little tap and glide that ball of gel over the nail so it's a very thin application of hard gel and if there's some bumpiness right here see how there's not quite enough here take a little bit of your gel because now you have a slick layer so the gels on the whole nail and it's gonna just fall and and just kind of pull right into the nail so if you do need to add a little bit more yeah. once you've got a slick it's layer a spot. it does it has a flat spot so we fix it. Right on the tip. We fix it, make it good. All right, next grab a ball. Of course, they're getting bigger because now we're in the middle of the nail. So it's easier to work with more gel than not enough. So when in doubt, grab more. Push around the cuticle and then glide that thin layer over the nail. 
So 30 day manicure, if it's your first time watching, is a technique that I developed using our uh, hard gel and our uh, colored gel. Our colored gels in the bottle and in the pot, they're solvent free, so they don't get brittle, they don't age over time, um, and they have strength in them. And so when you pair them with a very thin layer of hard gel, you actually get a very, very strong nail. So you don't have to be building big arches onto the nail, you can keep the natural nail um, looking very thin and uh, just like a perfect gel manicure that will last you a month or more. I think you were more this time, like five weeks. Okay, so as you can see, it's smoothed out really well on all of them, including the little low spot and our little crack there. I'm just gonna keep her hand as flat as possible, but then I'm gonna do my thumb as well. touch and pull down and right here there's a little bump I don't like bumps in the front so I'm going to thin that out you don't need a lot of strength right there on the tip so you don't need to have a big bump on the front there okay so if you turn your hand over and you look down the barrel so if you just push your finger in a little bit uh, where are we in camera there we go you guys can see how thin of an application this is down the barrel kind of very very thin all right, go ahead on in the light. And if it gets warm at all, you can come right out. Let's check. Go ahead and come out and press your fingertips on here. I have the wrong button on. Actually, that's why I was checking. Like, what, what button am I looking at? Okay, so pushing this around the cuticle. it here and pulling down and get that little side so there's a bump right here so I'm just going to push that gel up a little bit and then pull it down make sure that there's no bump right in the front hey Michelle hey everybody sorry can't read while I'm while I'm working here but I will try to glance up now and then if anyone has any questions let me know Hello to Cindy, who I met this last weekend at High Road. Hope you got your certificate. Stephanie was awesome to take that to you. Okay, next one. So this application is a very quick process. It shouldn't take you too long. And the trick is that when you're using a nice self-leveling gel, it's um, gonna not require you to finish file, which is important because you wanna be able to save your clients the time, save your arms. So this is a medium viscosity. If you use LED, um, this is a little bit smoother than balance. But if you were to put balance onto a little bit of heat, you would have about the same viscosity as natural here. Um, I feel like balance is just slightly, slightly thicker. So um, heat is a tool that you can use to make your gels just a little bit uh, runnier. Um, you don't need a lot, so you can put like a little heating pad next to you, or some people use a little mug warmer, um, and literally a couple of minutes, and you're going to see a huge change in the viscosity. So leave it on really long, and suddenly you're going to have gel that's just running everywhere. So you can use just a little tiny bit of heat, and that can help change the viscosity of what you're using. I found that with Bling On, um, it's a lifesaver, because Bling On can be really stiff. And if it's really, really cold, it is really hard to put that stuff on. So make it a little less cold and you will save it much easier for you. Okay, push around the cuticle. So we're gonna be doing a fun little St. Patty's Day design and really, really simple. Very nice for people that want something kind of neutral, kind of conservative, nothing like too much bling or anything like that, but still pretty and fun. So that is what we're gonna do after this. But I thought since I just got back in town, we could say good morning, see how you guys are all been doing. High Road was really fun. It was great to see my nail tech friends and I got to work with Amy Becker on some competition stuff. Got to stay with my girl, Ellen. It was a good time. So I'm just checking these before I put them in the light, make sure that everything is smooth how I want it to be. There's a little bump right here in the front. 
Well, I'll, I'll turn it around. It's a little angled up this way, so when I go to file it at the end, I'll turn it around and check the the length or the uh, shape of it. Because if you see, it's not angled. It's got a little bit of a low spot right here. So when we turn it around and file it at the very end, I'll just check that. So it's always good to do that. Just checking these. This one has a a little bit of a um, an angle to her natural nails, so the way the gel levels, you just want to check it a few times. All right, this is, should be the happy. All right, now we're going to switch over to color. So you don't want to remove the tacky layer or anything, you just go straight to color. And what I'm using is, I was going to use Forever, but this is a new one called Flirt, which is really similar, but it has a little bit of a pearl to it, which is going to blend really nicely for our fades. And then we're going to use the gold top coat over the top to give this nail a bit of a neutral gold look. And then uh, we're going to make a little shamrock. So, oh, that one had got bumped. Okay, so your client bumps one in the light or it might have touched her finger here. I can feel the gel right here. So wow. it touched her finger. So that happens. I'm just going to remove what I was just doing. And see there's a flat spot here. So all I want to do is just smooth this out. I don't removing any tacky. Just smooth that little spot out so that it's not a big bump. Depending on how bad it got um, hit depends on whether you have to add more product. That one wasn't that bad and it's very thin application. So I'm not gonna have to reapply anything, um, but I just wanna smooth that little bit out. So this is from our new, I believe Flirt is in our new Sassy collection. Hey, Cindy, Cindy, hey, Ronna. Oh, this one had got bumped, too. So if you guys look at... How did that happen? I don't know. You might just bump the light going in or out. It happens, and people don't notice it all the time. Okay, so again, see how you check the line of light, and you can see all that bumpiness going on? I'm going to hit this with my file. I'm not taking any of the sticky off. So, yes, you're going to get sticky on your file, but you're going to trash it anyway, so it's fine. I'm just going to smooth that out. It's good for people to see how it happens. I don't think it did either. It might, it might have been because I hit that wrong button the first time, so you got a little warm. Okay, so brushing on the tip, so that looks perfect, so that's fine. Brush down, and then I'm going to take my brush. This is the same one that I've been using, uh, my 106, and I'm just gonna pull this up. I do have some new ombre brushes coming in. They've been popular kind of all over, so of course I want to make sure you guys can get your hands on them when you get gel. So those are coming in, so I'll be playing with those, but for something as simple as this, um, whether you need it or not is uh, maybe, maybe not. Because this is just a very light blending. We're not covering this with chunky sparkles, and so I'm going to want to make sure that in my second coat, everything look exactly how I want it to look because it's not going to be as covered up as a fade that um, we do with Chunky Sparkles, which she likes to do a lot. We actually took off a pink glitter fade. You did pink. How, how did you like pink? That's very unusual for you. That was nice for a change. Yeah. I always get lots of compliments on my nails. <gasps> well, that's good. <laughs> She's got fun red hair, so she has the coloring where we do a lot of oranges and golds, which is fun. All right, go ahead in the light. Second hand. Try not to touch anything. Yeah, try not to bump it. That would be awesome. So if you've been wanting to see what Flirt looks like, this is what Flirt looks like. It has just that little bit of shimmer. So really, really nice for doing um, some ombres. Very similar to our classic, uh, man, old options color, which is, we, you can still get it in the UV LED formula, um, Tropical Sand, which has a bit of a pearl to it. So um, if you like gel in a pot and you want something that's similar to this, but maybe a little bit different, um, maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit pearlier, uh, Tropical Sand has a little bit more pearl to it and it's just a little bit lighter, but this kind of reminded me of that. It's been around forever. It's one of our original old UV options colors, but it's really pretty. There's a piece of lint in there, go away. 
<laughs> Lind is not your friend. Alright, blend up. Blend up. Everyone's really quiet in the room today. What did you guys all do this weekend? Something fun, I hope. Lots of nails. Touch. So I did mine, um, just as a FYI, with um, bling on before I went to Hawaii. So these are about two weeks old now, maybe a little bit more, and not a single stone gone. Love that. Bling on and shine on. Now that I'm back to every day in the nails, though, hmm, we'll see if that holds out by the end of the week. <laughs> if I don't hit them with files all week, we'll see. But it's really fun. Mine are done with um, the Mermaid Orca Blue over Peacock and Elite um, Faded. And then on the tip, I did a little bit of um, Aurora Blue. That's fun. I like the mermaids. It was fun to see Stephanie this weekend. This one touched just the very end. It was fun to see Stephanie Herbert this weekend because she had on the same orca blue, but hers were over black. So same shimmer effect with the glitter shifters, but totally different looks. So that's fun. We should have gotten a picture of our nails together, but we forgot. Blend up. So I'm just going to touch and pull. She likes to do fades so she doesn't see the grow out. So I do a lot of fades like this for my clients because so many of them go a month and they don't want to see the grow out being very obvious. And these uh, fades up to clear make that really possible. So. Sometimes people get more comments three or four weeks out because now their nails are longer and the fade looks um, more pronounced because there's more clear in the back. So they love it. I'll be doing another one the next client. She's, um, she always does a pink or purple fade with some foil on the side. So that's pretty fun. All right, and you go. Second coat. So this was a long one today, uh, this video. I wanted to just kind of reiterate 30 day manicure and how I do it um, for my clients. So that's why I started from right after prep. Um, there might be some new people that just caught uh, these videos and going back to old videos is sometimes really daunting. <laughs> So this is a great spring color flirt. Okay, square brush, wipe, blend. Good morning, Jessica. Jessica just came in. Okay, blend up. So you guys can see that the second blend um, works really, really well over the first one, no problem. Get that corner a little bit. Okay, last one. Okay, so now that we have done that, we're gonna go ahead and go in. So now we're gonna cover this with our gold shimmer top coat. Hi, Alicia. All right, so this is our gold effects top coat. Um, it is built into the top coat, so you don't have to top coat again, but what I'm going to be doing after the shamrock is top coating the shamrock ones with clear. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this after I get rid of this piece of lint that's driving me crazy. 
So I'm going to push up into the cuticle a little bit, make sure I get plenty of the shimmer on there. You like that? Pretty, huh? It's a little yeah, bit of that it's gold. not really noticeable. No, it's really subtle, but when it catches the light, you get that gold. And when we put your green shamrock on, and green and gold. Happy Patrick's Day without too much going on. The uh, You could do this if you wanted a lot of gold with the gold Aurora, but it's going to be much, much sparklier. Definitely not more of a neutral look. So this has a low spot right here. I'm just going to touch in the low spot and then pull down, and that's going to give you, um, it's going to fill that in. You're going to get a much better line of light down the middle of the nail. Is that a question there? Jess, can you read that? Or one of you. I see longer text. That's smart. Mm-hmm. Michelle Cowan, do you charge more for 30 days since you come less often than every two weeks? No, I don't. And I, it, for probably the first 10 years of me doing nails, I did two-week fills, three-week fills, da-da-da-da. But it was actually really kind of a pain because if someone rebooked because they needed to come a week later, suddenly they were, if they were a two-weeker and they were used to two weeks, now they were three weeks and they would get upset because they had to pay a little bit more. And it just, it made things really complicated. And bottom line, you're doing the same amount of work. So you end up wanting people to go longer because you're doing the same work. And so you're two-weekers, you're like, oh, I'm doing the same work, but I'm actually getting paid less. And your expenses are all the same for the hour. And so you just, it, it makes it, not worth it to do that and it's actually can be harder um for example to e-file and put that in it can actually be harder to e-file off color on a nail that has almost no grow out than it is one that oh, a little bit warm you can come out it'll be it's just a zing sometimes with the top coat especially if i'm touching a little bit extra like i did on that one nail um it cures really hard so it will sometimes zing just right when it starts to cure, then it goes away. Um, anyway, so I don't, I don't charge any differently for 30 day versus a month because really it's their choice. Um, it's very unusual for any of my clients to need to go every two weeks. I have one, her natural nails are really flexible. And so if she goes much longer than three weeks, her, her nails actually curl over and we start to see lifting from the free edge. Um, and so we try to get her in around three weeks and try not to go more than three, even though she'd like to go four. It really just comes down to she's going to have more issues after three, but some go six. So, um, it really just depends on their preference. It's not, um, it's not about me. It's about them, what they want. So if they want to come in every two weeks, that's fine. That's up to them. But if their budget is for once a month, so they're going to come in every three to four weeks. And that's pretty, um, typical. Uh, three weeks, I'd say, is my average. Um, a lot that come in three weeks, just a couple that come in at two, and a ton that come in at four or more. So, I'm going to do that. We're going to put this in. And then I'm going to grab my green. Coming back, here we go, green glitz. This is the gel play. It's a really fun, sparkly green glitter. What I'm going to do now is I don't want to over cure the gloss on these because they are shiny and ready. And if you cure it again, it starts to absorb the tacky layer and you can actually start to lose the shine. So I'm gonna remove it on these ones because they're done, but I'm gonna be doing the art on this one and then I'm gonna top coat it again with just regular top coat. So for a cute little shamrock, take some of your green glitz and a stylus. And you wanna create, if you're doing a four leaf clover, very, very, very simple. Me and Sandy were joking about pressing the easy button. And I thought, oh, I should have one of those for these designs that like are so easy. Press the easy button. Ah. So four leaf clover, you're just gonna pull in four dots and then we're going to draw a stem. So, crazy, crazy easy. So I'm trying not to let them touch too much. If they touch too much, you're gonna lose
kind of the definition of each um, part of the clover. So I'm just going to take my art number two brush, really thin, fine brush, grab a little bit, and starting right in the center, come down. I just want it to curl down just a little bit. And then I'm just going to pull these in. And check that I like the shape. Cute. Mm -hmm. Little four leaf clover. All right, go ahead and cure that. I'll do the other hand real quick. Are you going to rub my. Oh, yes. See, my client remembered. <laughs> Look at that. Take off yeah, the old I need tacky. To rub my fingers. <laughs> rub my fingers. That's so funny. I was looking at what Cindy just said. I have an on, I have a no button. Oh, no works too. But this is easy. Easy. Someone I know gave someone an easy button for Christmas one year, and I'm like, what would you use that for? And now I know. Let's press the easy button. Okay, there's a little fuzz right here. Not welcome at the party. Get off. Get off the party. Thank you. Alright. Dot, dot. So this is just a super simple, if someone comes in, they want something a little St. Patrick's Day-ish, but they want to be neutral, this is a really fun and easy design that you can do. Um, and you incorporate the fade so you get a little bit of art in there. Um, okay. Touch this. Just going to start right here in the middle and bring a stem down. I like it to curl a little bit. And then I'm just going to play with these, blend them in a little bit to make me happy. And then sometimes I've done this where I'll put like a little bit of white on there, but when you're, in the, I do that normally if I'm doing a solid green and I'll kind of just draw a little bit of white, but when you're doing the glitter, just leave it glitter because that's, glitter is the magic part. Okay, a little four leaf clover, go ahead and put that in. So now we're just gonna use our regular standard Luxio gloss, or if you wanna use shine on, that's fine. Um, but if you've used the effects on these, I would recommend using regular Luxio gloss on this one because you want it to maintain the same shine. And uh, the shine for shine on stays differently and it actually feels different than Luxio gloss. So you wanna try to keep it the same all the way around if you're doing that. So gloss that in and in the light, please. And we'll gloss this one in. Okay. We're going to give those 30 seconds and then I'm going to finish them. So thanks guys for joining me. And I might be doing chrome tonight, I believe, on Kara. So that might happen later. And um, we'll see what else we come up with. All right. See you guys later.